Nothing. Nothing has changed. I'm Zorian. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. This one is really, really good. It's a young adult fantasy. This series, the Hero of Olympus series, was one of my favorite series to read growing up. And in addition to these books, also the Percy Jackson books by Rick Riordan were the books that got me into reading. This aisle is my favorite. It's the science fiction and fantasy aisle. And it's the one that I always have my fingers crossed and hope that they have some good stuff. I don't know which one to pick. See, like, I've heard maybe like one or two good things about this series, and I'm like, oh, it's book two, haven't read book one, nor do I own it, but it's half price, so I might get it. It's, it's a full-time job. Do I really need it? The answer is always no. I feel like it's just like part of my personality at this point. Okay, not to be dramatic, but I am getting interviewed by my local news today and I am like pretty nervous because they found out about my books. I feel like there was definitely like a moment in school. It was just something that I was always looking forward to whenever we had silent reading time. I don't know, I just enjoyed books then like more so than drawing or listening to music or anything like that. And once I started reading and realizing that I could just go to like different worlds other than the one we were living in right now, that was just like such a cool thing to me. One of my favorite reads from last year, it is called The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn. It is a Nordic inspired epic fantasy. And when I read this, I discovered one of my favorite characters ever. My dad, he, he doesn't read so much anymore, but like I know when he was like growing up, he loved to read like fantasy books, but he was always super supportive. Um, my mom was also supportive, but she told me that I didn't need to spend all of the money I earned from jobs on books. And I proved her otherwise, clearly with my collection. <laughs> but I think at some point they thought it got out of hand. You, as you can see, I don't have a lot of space left and I am still accumulating books faster than I can read them. <laughs> I counted last night and there's 550 books on these shelves. It was so hard to choose, but these are my favorite fantasy books of 2022. The Spear Cuts Through Water by Simon Jimenez, Babel by R.F. Kuang. This is my little handy dandy. It's tripod set up, but it's nice because I can like film standing up or sitting down in the ring light with the phone stand. Works really well for what I'm doing. Well, TikTok has like the For You page and they show you what they think you'd be interested in. So I had been scrolling through like after like every cute little cow video, I would get like a really cool like book video. And I was like, oh my God, obviously they know I love books. I caved into the hype and I read Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent. I saw videos after videos and I thought like, I have some cool book doves. I like to talk about books. Maybe I can try my hand at that. And I did. And my first video was me just like introducing myself. Hi, my name is Zoran and this is my audition for Book Talk. It wasn't until after a year of like creating content, like I started getting reached out to by like authors and publishers saying like, this book's coming out in April. We would love to send you this book to read early and review. And I was like, oh my God, they want to send me a book. They would send it to me and then I would be able to read and review it. And then those emails just kept trickling in. If you're just getting into fantasy, I always recommend starting with Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson for the magic system and the world building. All right, creating content online has been a job for me now. I never thought I would say that, but at, it is. <laughs> so if you want to join me or 5,000, nope. <clears throat> this is what I do all day. I was working like a 40 hour, a full time 40 hour week job. It wasn't like fulfilling me. I wasn't feeling satisfied because I would come home from work and I would do this and that would like almost reinvigorate me. 
and I was making money doing that and there was like a point where I was like oh my god I think I could really like leave my traditional job and work on creating content and making money that way. Why did no one tell me how good the Remnant Chronicles were? Why did I stay up until 3 a.m. last night reading The Heart of Betrayal? My dad was very weary at first, but when I showed him like the receipts of like what I was bringing in income wise, he was like, oh yeah, maybe we can do that. <laughs> maybe you can do that. And I was like, yeah, dad, I can, I can do it. I reread The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. And even though it is my job now, it still feels like a hobby. It's still fun. So if people want to join me and be along for the ride and read some of the books I recommend and engage with me online about that, then that's like more than enough for me.